The Everglades National Park is a large swamp area with remarkable vegetation and wildlife. The best place in the Everglades to find wildlife is the Aninga Trail. This is a short wooden sidewalk close to the main entrance of the Everglades and the Park Information Center. Most of the year the Everglades are covered with shallow water but in the dry season, much water dries up, leaving only a few pools for the remaining fish. This makes life really easy for the many predators. The Aninga Trail was built along some of these pools. When I visited the park beginning of March, there were numerous caimans all over the place. The caiman is a small but still very respectable type of alligator. And by the way, alligators are not crocodiles. Compare this crocodile with the caimans in this slideshow. The Everglades is the only area where you can find both crocodiles and alligators. In this slideshow I would like to show you some wildlife of the Aningra Trail that lives on the same floor as the caimans, so to speak. As they live in and alongside the water infested with hungry caimans, they have to be on their guards at all times. The purple Galinul has long toes, permitting him to walk over the water plants. He also builds his nest on these plants, so he is an easy prey for the stealth hunting tactics of the Kaima. The purple Galinul is busy all day long collecting these flowers which he brings to his nest. Unfortunately, the striped mud turtle is well known from the pet shop. The Everglades is his real habitat. He has to share the pool with his gigantic reptile cousin. The well-known Great Blue Heron thrives in the Everglades. During your stroll on the Aninga Trail, you have lots of occasions to observe his hunting tactics. He is a stealth hunter like the Kaiman. He can stand motionless in the shallow water for hours, waiting for a delicious fish or frog to pass by. But at the same time, he must always keep an eye on the caimans nearby, who love a tasty bite of heron as a side dish on their mainly fish menu.
And finally, I would like you to meet this least bittern male, also a kind of heron. He lives all year round in the Everglades, thanks to its warm climate. The least bittern is also a stealth hunter like the great blue heron, but he likes to keep his feet dry while fishing. The least bittern is extremely patient. You will rarely see him move, but when prey passes by, he dives in like a flash. <laughs>